we often need to center text based on the layout of a composition. Autograph offers a simple way to implement this type of operation by adding an anchor to composition generator to a layer's position parameter. The purpose of this anchor to composition generator is to analyze the layer's bounding box and move it based on different options we set in the generator. For example, we can set the text to be positioned on the left side of the composition based on the left side of the layer. This positioning is relative to the layout of the composition, so if we change the layout, the text will still be positioned on the left. By using the anchor to composition generator, we can now specify that we want the text to be centered based on both the center of the bounding box and the center of the composition format. Let's click on the button to display the properties of the text generator and change its content to write on multiple lines. The text remains centered, but if we select our layer, we can see that the anchor point of the text hasn't been changed. If we change the scale parameter, we can see that we lose the centering even though we've added the generator. The constraint of the anchor to composition generator, which centers the text, is first applied to the position, and then the scale variation is applied afterward. So we're going to change how we implement this constraint by removing the anchor to composition generator from the position parameter and adding a transform modifier that'll be applied before the layer's transformation. The purpose of this modifier will be to analyze the layer's bounding box regardless of the text content, and then we can place a new anchor to composition generator on its position parameter. Implementing this constraint through a transform modifier now allows us to perform scale variation on the layer while keeping the text centered. This type of constraint, which can be created without writing a single line of code, lets you create dynamic and adaptive projects based on the content. We can write any text on multiple lines and even add a modifier that directly affects the character string to convert all characters to uppercase. 